Hey, Cat 103 students, a couple things. Uh, I've had a question on how to do 2-1 uh, in your uh, CAD Unit 1. Honestly, if you do the tutorials in the chapter, look through the teaching aids for any additional supplemental uh, aids, you shouldn't have any problems with these assignments. Obviously, if you're sending me an email telling me you don't know how to do the first assignment, uh, pretty much tells me you didn't go through the chapter, you didn't read it, and you didn't do the tutorials. There's tutorials throughout the chapter. Those tutorials help you gain the skills necessary to be able to complete these assignments. So for 2-1, basically on page 2-38, if you've done the drawing using coordinate system tutorial, you would know how to do 2-1. So everything over right now uh, basically is already in your textbook uh, except if you jump to the tutorials without if you jump to the assignments without going to tutorials that's what leads to sending me an email telling me you don't know what you're doing all right so AutoCAD does uh, geometry using a Cartesian coordinate system as shown in your tutorial to on page 2-38 there's absolute relative and polar all right so, this little, uh, this little guy right here, this UCS icon, right there where this X meets the Y is called 0, 0. So, if I type L, enter, and I say start the line at 0, 0, enter, guess what? It's going to snap it to the intersection right here. Anything up in this area, let me show you. Anything up in this area is a plus Y. Always enter your, excuse me, plus X and uh, plus Y. Always enter your X value first, and then your Y value. Anything down here is plus on the X, negative on the Y. Here is negative on X, negative on Y. And here in this quadrant is negative on X and plus on Y. All right, there is the absolute. With absolute, everything comes back to here. So say I want to draw a line 10 units to the right, 10 units up. I'm not going to use the at symbol. It says specify next point. I'm going to do a 10, comma, 10, enter. What I did was draw a line that was 10 units here, 10 units there. Now, that's the absolute way of doing it. All right. Say I want to do a relative. Say I want to start from this point right here. You have to add the at symbol. So we're going to go at. I want to go 10 units to the right. And let's go four units up. Tab, four, enter. So basically I did ten units this way, four units up from this point. Okay? Because I added the at symbol. Look. I added the at. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I did a polar. When you see that angle, that's an angle symbol. That was a polar. Uh, that was the last one I really wanted to talk about. But we'll go ahead and talk about that real quick. So remember, AutoCAD reads angles. Let's see if I can find it here. AutoCAD reads angles like this. 0, excuse me, 0, 45, 90, 135. It reads it in a counterclockwise direction. So if I wanted to draw a line 45 degrees, uh, if I want to draw a line 10 units long at 45 degrees, I'm going to go at 10, tab over to my angle field, 45, enter. Simple. Now, I want to go back to using abs absolute, which means this goes back to here. And I want to draw a line that's four units this way, four units up. Watch how that line is going to snap back this way. So I'm going to go four, comma, four, enter. All right, so it took it way back to here because I went four units this way, four units up. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. Remember your O snaps. You can find your O snaps right here. Uh, everything that's checked means it'll snap to that point. So, I'll, so I want to start a line from this intersection right here. I'm going to go L, enter. I'm going to snap to that line by left clicking. And notice that I'm snapped to that line. Now I'm going to use an absolute again. I'm going to say at 10, comma, 10, enter. That means I drew, uh, I, I drew that line from this point because it was an at symbol. 10 units this way, 10 units up. Pretty simple, guys. Uh, and if you want to go down in this area, remember, this area is negative, negative. 
uh, this area is negative positive, this area is positive negative. Or do I have that backwards? Okay. Uh, just remember to do the tutorials prior to sending me an email and look through the uh, look also look through the teaching aids folder. A lot of a lot of videos that I put in there. All right. One more thing I want to cover. It's called the direct distance mode. Say I'm drawing just straight lines. Okay. What I can do, I'm going to hit escape to get out. Always hit escape. And I'm going to do an E, enter, A-L-L to, to delete all. I'm going to hit F8. F8 means I draw in straight lines. When my ortho's on, I just want to snap anywhere. I'll snap here. I'll just take a line, take my cursor, the direction I want to go, type 10, enter, go up, 10, enter, go over, 10, enter, and then I'll snap back down to there. All right, that's using a direct distance mode. I want to draw in angles. I'm going to take my F8 off, go back to L, I'll snap there and watch your tracking that little 25 degrees c40 45 degrees 90 say i know i'm going to draw it 52 degrees i'm going to put that 52 in that box there and i'm going to type 10 enter that's called direct distance mode all right any questions let me know guys again before sending me emails that you don't know what you're doing don't jump to the assignment and try to skip out on the tutorials in each chapter all right God bless you guys. Send me an email if you have any issues.